On page 180, you say, the entry into Earth's reality system as a human being wipes out so much of who and what one is, but I was keenly aware of the paradoxical position of being a human with memories of other reality systems. So what is this paradoxical position you speak of? Can you just talk a little bit about this, about the wiping of memory? There's, Why does it happen? If you're going to come and be an Earth human, you get a set of frequencies that are part of that pattern. Some of the other patterns have little adaptations to them, and you'd be a Pleiadian instead. Um, but that's when you, when you have had experiences in another system, and you come and you be an Earth human, every so often, that especially if you run into a Kundalini-type experience where you have no limits on your consciousness, now you are everything, everything. And you remember specific details of a lot of places that you have been, both in the Earth system and in other systems. And so that moment of that paradoxical moment is like, oh, wow. There's no way really to easily explain what it is to be an Earth human than to know that you're from somewhere else. It's just like, you know, like if you had been a Jew in a concentration camp and now you're living well in America and you think back to that other time and you think, oh, wow, you know, that's, um, that happened to me. That's part of my experience, etc. Or you've been a, a prisoner in jail, and now you're out and you're working and trying to rebuild your life. You look back on that whole experience in prison, and, and you're kind of like, whoa, that's a whole different world. And you may try to wipe out some of that even, but it's similar to that. It's probably the best I can say. Human, the Earth human is a specific set of frequencies. And so when you incarnated that, that, uh, that, not that dumbing down because it sounds very negative. But that, <laughs> That's a good but, term. <laughs> but, but yeah, because you become a little, so that your, your, your consciousness kind of goes down because, because that's what the earth can kind of handle because that's where the earth is. So you kind of right. go with where the earth is. And then eventually when the earth also expands in their frequencies, that's when all the humans will also expand into what, is that how it works, the evolution? Right. Or? That's pretty much, yeah. Yeah, because if you, um, let's say that you come into a, another pattern, then you're not an Earth human, period. You're something else. So hopefully you're not a lizard or a mosquito. But, but the pattern of the human that, that I come in, like I came in into a pattern right now, the frequency... The, the frequency, uh, I kind of matched what the frequency of the earth is. But if I would go into a reality system that had more frequency expansion, I would actually come in also with the same. So the, I matched the reality system. Is that what you're saying? Um, let me say it this way. Yes, and that's fairly accurate. When you come into this system, you come into a body. That body is the set of frequencies. So that limits what okay. you're going to be aware of. That's why some people will remember more and yes. have more of their, their senses developed and some people remember less. And, that, right. and so the body that I chose to incarnate with all the, the level of dumbing down, so to speak, <laughs> I, I, so I, I kind of chose to have this dumbed down body. Yes. At that level of frequency. This is right. my experience that I chose to have. It's not because some... Let me, let me say this. From the ET point of view, that's not necessarily dumbing down. That is opting for another set of experiences that are very much more sensuous. They don't have that. So they look at what we have as a kind of a ooh experience. Look at the tastes, look at the physical experiences, the walking, the running, the swimming. They don't get involved in any of that kind of stuff. 
um, they look at the, you know, if you like beer <laughs> or you, uh, you like ice cream or whatever. Um, those are experiences that we have all the time without a second thought. And, and so that's the value of the physical body. So it's not all bad. It's not mm -hmm. all one way. They have powers of consciousness, but they have a whole different arrangement of frequencies. And their physiom, physiognomy, <laughs> physical self, is, um, is limited in the kinds of things that it is able to uh, tolerate we'll say it that way I was going to say the next thing is that there's no one that that necessarily manipulated me to to um, how can I say the prison planet idea that that's where I'm trying to go there's there's not really some big evil force out there necessarily um, that that uh, that is keeping it dumbed down because they say for example that harp is one way of keeping people of manipulating frequencies in the system that keeps us a little bit at a lower level. The same well, thing as fluoride that we spoke about, you know? Well, fluoride does. <laughs> I don't know about HARP. Um, HARP is not for manipulating humans. HARP is for manipulating the ionosphere. It's, um, you know, if you happen to be in the path of that, you know, beam, when it hits the ionosphere and then heads back down, like sometimes you'll see a whole flock of birds fall out of the sky. That's what happened. Um, you know, they just got fried in midair. But, um, yeah, there's every single thing you put in your mouth and swallow affects your consciousness. Everything. No exceptions. So, and every single thing you listen to, every single thing you watch with those goo-goo eyes, <laughs> That affects your consciousness. Um, we just do not understand um, the base nature of consciousness. There's some work there that has to be done. On page 225, again in, in volume two, you say, the other beings who live in and around the earth, as well as all the five ET races who came together to seed a garden world, of ex a garden world experiment here on this planet, a world where all, li uh, all life is integrative and everything supports or feeds everything else, do right. not want to see their work collapse in self-destruction. Right. So obviously I'll have a question about the 5ET races, but if we stay with the integrative system, my feeling, I remember when I was a very young child and teenager, I would think how cruel God was to create a world where we need to eat each other. So for me, that was a very big like fear that I was like oh what a cruel world and then when I heard that this was a distortion I was like yeah God is loving he wouldn't create this like this so the world must be you know, manipulated somehow so we eat each other so so there's that aspect that we need to feed off each other literally um yeah so could could you talk about that because I have another question but it goes into something else can you okay talk about that so the world is this an evil creation 